What I didn't know is that when you take a small compromise, there really is no such thing, because sin takes you way further than you ever, ever dreamed. You would go ever dreamed. I didn't think I was capable of such a thing. I really didn't. And that relation did take me to the place of adultery, physical, sexual adultery. And I had my first panic attack. And I, I mean, I just flipped out because I had a fear that gripped my heart like never before. And it was a thought that I had never, ever had before. And it came to me uh, uh, as this, what if she's pregnant? With this new news, I didn't think I could face my life. When I was with my dad one day in the car, he said, Audrey, he says, I'm not going anywhere. And he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, that is what you did, but it's not who you are. We moved away for a period of time, and um, that's when, when I feel like heart surgery took place for me. Because see, I, I was remorseful for what I did. I had regret for what I had done. But you see, my repentance came in layers. They kept getting deeper. Every day there would be a new depth to my repentance. My ultimate prayer was, Lord, I want to hate what I did. And he says, Bob, what's done is done. But what I need to know is whether or not you will become the man of God that you need to be to keep your family together. As we sat down, <clears throat> Audrey and I just begin to weep and cry and cry. So the kids are like, uh-oh, something's going on yeah, here. Yeah. And uh, so immediately I got up and I went over to our bed and I pulled the big comforter off of the bed and I took it and I covered Audrey as we sat on the floor and I covered her from head to foot and I took her and I draw her close to my side and I said, kids, I said, this is what God does when we mess up. He takes us, He covers us and He draws us in close and He speaks to us, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you. Kids, your mom has made a great mistake but I'm not going anywhere, we're a family.